This is my first time trying Turkish makeup, but this is also my first time trying a metallic lip gloss. Have you seen something like this? Because I haven't. Let's talk about the Turkish makeup brand Flormar. I was able to try Dewy Lip Booster and their Dewy Lip Glaze. I got these from Tira a month or so back. We should definitely start with the Dewy Lip Glaze because bestie, what is this? I have three shades with me and let's start with my most favorite one. Leaven Chic Burgundy is a metallic high shine burgundy lip gloss. This is the epitome of chic makeup. Made me look like a high fashion runway model. Chic Burgundy is one swipe and heavily pigmented. It almost feels like a glossy lipstick mainly because of the shade. Even though it's unlike your Romand or Etude House glossy tints. Flormar lip glosses are thick and hella pigmented. A few minutes after application, it looks like I have applied some kind of a metallic eyeshadow on my lips and layered it with a high shine lip gloss. That's the most accurate description I can give. The finish is very, very chic. This is the type of lip color I would wear with just base makeup, you know, foundation, concealer, a little bit of bronzer and mascara and this lip gloss. I have a feeling that bold eye makeup, like, you know, heavy smoky eyes will take away the light from this lip gloss. You definitely don't need two layers with chic burgundy. I thought I would try to layer the color only on the inner parts of the lips. The color already looked vampy on my skin and now it looked kind of ombreish vampy. I can't think of any other season other than fall and the winter to rock a metallic burgundy color like chic burgundy. 13 Pink Glory was my least favorite. I thought it would be a little darker. Also, Tira did not put any swatches of these colors, so I didn't even know what I could expect. There are some shades, guys, where they've only put a picture of the wand, so you just have to imagine what the shade is gonna look like looking at the wand. That was annoying. Pink Glory is a light baby pink nude color. Pink Glory looks very pale on my skin tone. Out of all the three shades, the pigment in Pink Glory separates faster. Do you see that? Also, Pink Glory settled on my fine lines. I'm not a gloss person. I don't even know if this is how lip glosses usually perform. Whatever this is, I don't like it. And also this only happened on my bare lips. The Dewy Lip Glaze formula seems to work better on top of lip liners and lipsticks. So I don't care that much if the pigment separates because I'm never gonna wear it on bare skin. I lined my lips with the Essence Stay 8 Hour Waterproof Lip Liner in 05 Famous. It's a deep burgundy red color and on top of this lip liner, the lip gloss absolutely slayed. So this is how Pink Glory looks on my bare lips versus on top of a lip liner. 17 Elegant Pink is a purple mauve lip gloss. The pink in Elegant Pink is muted and cool tone leaning. Dewy Lip Glaze has a high shine finish with a non-sticky formula. Dewy Lip Glaze has this synthetic fruity scent that is very commonly found in cosmetics. The finish is very opaque in these glosses and I personally liked the fact that on top of lip liners, the formula blended seamlessly. You know with some lip gloss formula, it is very apparent that you have applied some kind of a lip liner or some product underneath the lip gloss. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I genuinely liked how the formula fused with my lip liner. I'm talking about the ombre two-toned finish. So yeah, this is how 17 Elegant Pink looks on my bare lips versus on top of the Essence lip liner. Overall, I give Dewy Lip Glaze 8 out of 10. Flormar Dewy Lip Booster does everything Dewy lip glaze already does but with that extra action of a lip plumper basically this is like your high shine glossy lip plumper the consistency and texture are pretty much the same but i found dewy lip booster to be more shiny and glass like the first shade i have is 05 vintage this is your typical mauvey pink shade the pink here is not as cool toned as elegant pink i liked the shade a lot as a lip plumper this does the job i just have to wait for one minute and no more than that 
to see the plumping effect. Did it sting? It's not like your Too Faced lip injection where the gloss stings your lips like a bee sting, like an ant sting. This is more like, you know, cooling and minty, but it's definitely intense. I have sensitive lips and I don't know if it's because of that. This minty cooling sensation was there on my lips for 10 to 15 minutes after application. So I don't know how many people are gonna like the lip plumpers like Dewy Lip Booster. The only thing I hate about Dewy Lip Booster is that that this had like a polo minty oily smell it smells like peppermint oil I don't know how to feel about it even though I'm not a huge fan of lip plumpers I have to agree that dewy lip booster is better than dewy lip glaze it has everything dewy lip glaze has but I don't know why this has more shine and pigment than dewy lip glaze for people like me who just want a regular schmegular lip gloss, then you can definitely try the Dewy Lip Glaze. Lip Booster is for my feisty besties, you don't mind the minty plumping sensation, then go for it. The last shade is such an unfortunate pick. I'm so mad at myself for picking this color. This is 04 Ruby. I don't like this color at all. Oh my god, the guys, the lighting literally made it look 10 times better than what the actual color looks on my skin. If you have deeper skin tone, you will understand what I'm going through. This red color just called me an ugly dark bitch in 10 different languages. I don't wear red lipsticks, so I never cared to learn about different undertones in red lipsticks. Coral red, blue red, pinkish red, I don't know, but this is my least favorite shade in this video. I haven't tried it on top of lip liners, but like lip liners fix anything and everything. Dewy Lip Booster and Dewy Lip Glaze both are glosses, so it's not transfer proof and overall I think they last till you eat or drink in between. Wearing it on my bare lips versus on top of lip liners, I feel like these perform 10 times better on top of lip products except for Chic Burgundy. That is it for today's video. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. I will see you later. Bye, guys.